Look at that. Look at that. Uh, old school. Okay. Hello, everybody. This is Nam Talks, and this is going to be episode two of This Is Why I Love It. And we're going to do one of my favorite games to come out for this console. Here, Specs Ensemble, rest in peace. This is their last major release before they got shut down. The RTS console classic at this point. Uh, Halo Wars. Oh my god, hear that music? This game is fantastic. Um, mm, listen to it go. Um, this is at a time when Microsoft was looking to really, I don't want to say pump out more Halo, but they wanted something to kind of flush out the universe and have something to kind of fill in the gaps. And uh, Ensemble Studios, the maker of the fantastic Age of Empires video game franchise, um, they're like, we have you guys, you know, we have Bungie, like, let's collaborate, let's do something. So they started this project and uh, kind of harkens back to Halo originally was a top-down RTS. If you look up some of the old f footage for it, it was a top-down game that they decided to turn third person. Then they were like, oh, what if we do it first person? So in a weird way, I was kind of going back to its roots as to what it originally was going to be. Um, so this game was made. And I remember before it came out, no one had any faith in it because, let's face it, you know, console RTSs didn't really have much to work with. You know, like it was uh, just nothing really crazy there. Um, let's bump this back up. Let's see. And uh, I don't know. The game was fantastic. They, uh, it came out. It was much better than anybody expected. And it had full campaign co-op, which a lot of people were like, why is it co-op? But it was really awesome. And also, it was a really great introduction to Blur Studios because they did all the cutscenes. In fact, we'll watch one right now. Um... We'll watch one of the more uh, famous scenes. So this is going to be uh, slight spoilers. So don't watch um, if you don't want to see it. And uh, let's take a look at some of the original old school blur footage and some of the stuff they pulled off. Actually, no, well, it's not. Yeah, you got to play the game to see that. Let's go through. Uh, what everything was doing here. Captain's report, February 4th, 2531. Five years, five long years. That's how long it took us to get Harvest back. Go, go, go! First it was going well, then setback after setback. Loss after loss. Made what was going to be a quick and decisive win. Into five years of hell. Of course, that's all Harvest is today. It's hell down there. But now it's ours again. Late title card. Listen to that music. And uh, another thing this game had that was really intense was that it actually had a great cast of characters. Much like a Blizzard RTS, like Warcraft 3 with their campaign. Uh, they had characters you could really get behind. It was a fantastic story they told. It's also a prequel. It said 20 years before the first Halo. Um, I mean, even back then, look at Blur's work is incredible. Uh, 
but um Serena. Status. Standard orbit achieved. We'll go back and we'll just do a quick little skirmish match, I guess. The best way to just briefly just show something here. Uh It's been a while since I've played. So how about Blood Gulch? The classic Blood Gulch. And uh Hmm. I'm gonna choose the characters you played as. Uh and they have like their own unique abilities and everything. Um But we'll stick to the basic Captain Cutter. And uh let's see. Go against the arbiter here. Uh let's start the game. And you'll see why through the presentation and the the gameplay. I mean, the amount of work they did to take an RTS and, and map it to a controller. It's the reason why other RTSs just failed back then. I remember trying to play StarCraft on the N64, which was a terrible experience. The controller just was not functioning that great. and This game figured out a lot of problems. Let's just go right into it here. Hey, Warhog, let's build us a barracks. Supply pass. So this is one of the ways they got around it, is one centralized base with little pods, which made it very easy to select them and move around. Yes, sir. Um, Let's roll. It's one of the smartest oh, yeah. things they've done. I mean, look, you can zoom way in. You, the warhogs sound like warhogs. It's like, as a Halo nerd, it's oh, it was so exciting. Um, let's put up some turrets here. Barracks complete. And the most famous part of the game. Here we go. Oh, here we go. All units. All units. Local units. Local units. All units. All units. Oh my god. Everyone loved all units. On the move. Don't get it twisted. Let's get some Marines out here. It's been a while since I played, but I mean, look at it. Just, even now, the attention to detail. Turret complete. Pretty fantastic. Marines. Hoorah! Supply Marines, the, the Marine, everything about it is just fantastic. Um, let's see, you can like set, you know, your your rally points and all the things you normally all do. Units. I haven't played in a while, so I don't remember all the shortcuts, but we'll get there. All right, we're going. Turret go. complete. All units. Okay, hold on. Yeah, they have rebel factions, which were a big part of Halo that they never really got into. Uh, they started getting into it a little bit in Halo 5. Um, let's get a couple more units out here. Um, there we go. The way every unit worked is you move them around with X and they'll move. And then they had special abilities, which normally you think about, okay, a lot of RTS units, a lot of special abilities that's hard to manage. But here, it's just tap the Y button, and they'll do whatever their ability is, which is a grenade, which, since you play Halo, you kind of know what to expect from, from that. Um, let's see, there's another grenadier. And then we can start... All units. Hoorah! Let's see if we can take this base out. Smoke them out! Flame throwers on the way! The grenades would do a lot of good damage to these uh, structures. Special abilities that you can call down. All units. Marines reporting for duty. All units. Moving up. All units. Standing by. And you could like drop that down, get special abilities, and a lot of good stuff. Let's get another supply pad here. 
So resource management, another thing that makes these games very difficult. Um, in this game, you just build a supply pad right on one of your, your pods here, and you just accrued resources, and you didn't have to worry about, like, okay, I gotta build a worker, I gotta build a harvester All to go units. out there. Doing that is what allowed them to focus on the battles and really make the game snap and move, and uh, just everything about it is fantastic like that. Uh, supply pad complete. One day they'll blow that up. One day. So let's get a tech structure up here. So to prevent you from rushing out and expanding right away, uh, you could only build bases on certain spots of the map. Um, you'll see when I destroy this uh, base here. And that's how you secure a new uh, spot for your troops. Yes, sir. Reactor complete. So I'm gonna let my money build up so I can make another base right there. Uh, let's get another, mm, save that. You can also find resources on the map and have your units uh, pick them up for you. Also, you hear the music. The music is fantastic. It was uh, the composer of this game went on to do the music for Halo 5 when they know they needed a better soundtrack than what 4 provided. And he did a great job. If you played Halo 5, you know the music in that game was really, really good. That's when the base comes in, Spirit of Fire drops the ship down, and I don't know, man, just all this stuff, the speed of the game, the vibe of the game, the music, the, the gameplay being so tight, the, the problems they solved with a controller and an RTS with the right kind of Halo that you would want. The sound, the weapons, everything is how it should be. Um, and all that just added up, you know, with the fantastic campaign, cooperative gameplay, great online, great online community. It just um, it was really well done when it should have just been a bad spin-off. You know, you had a spin-off of a shooter, you had an RTS on a console. It could have went terribly. Um, and even at your most optimistic, I don't think anybody expected the game to be this good. Um, so we'll complete. just play for a couple more minutes here and then I'll call it. And this is also uh, recently added to the backwards compatibility. So if you have not played this before and you are a fan of Halo, if you're new to Halo and you want a little bit more in your games and want to experience a great story, this is can't be recommended enough. Um, plays super well. Let's build us another Warthog, what do you say? Also, you can play as the Covenant. Um, only in skirmish mode. You cannot play as them in the campaign. The campaign is just a Terran... A Terran, wow, Starcraft. Um, you can only play as the uh, UNSC. Um, hopefully... Uh, there will be a new Halo Wars coming this fall. Uh, looks like it's centered around the Brutes from the footage they show, and hopefully in that game you'll be able to, uh, you know, play as both sides. Um, but if not, you know, whatever. I'm I'm in for a new storyline here. Now that I built my first factory as well. Elsewhere, he's not building enough new units. All units. And yeah, and your AI would give you little pointers like that about what the AI is doing. Of course, they say that right before you get rushed by, a, you know, a billion dudes. There we go. Gunner, research. Now, every Warhog I build will have the traditional gunner that you expect. Let's make another one, and then we'll rush out here and see if we can meet the, uh, the Covenant in some kind of battle. Also, a thing like this, like the elephant, you had three different commanders for each army, and uh, each commander came with unique things, and the elephant is Supply unique pad. to Captain Cutter. Um, it allows it to, like, you know, deploy units while you're out there on the field, which is very useful. Uh, Warthog, good to go. All units. So, I'm not going to be able to build one of those in time, so let's just... Uh, Another supply pad. Not two more. Let's 
All units. Yes, sir. If you had everyone selected, uh, they would move as slow as the slowest unit, which is nice. Kept the groups. Oh, here we go. We're going in. Nice and easy. Moving in. Awesome. All right. Gotta find that ghost. Moving out. Yeah, look at the Warhogs, they got the jumps, especially when you're on a blood gulch like this. Supply pad, complete. Let's go. Let's go. Let's Something's go. going on up here. Alright. We're going. We're going Get in. Get it. Nah, I lost it. Rolling out. The Warhogs are great scouts. Uh, they can go and get resources for you very quickly. Standing by. Gonna be a pleasure. All units. Moving out. Supply pad complete. I'll try to let's see what I can do here with my unit abilities. On the way. Covering fire. No, oh, he has a sniper. I'm gonna shoot it. You could also capture these, which allowed you to get extra tech, tech levels, so you can make fancy things like Spartans and the more exotic units like Scorpions and shit like that. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna capture this, and then we're gonna go down here, and we are going to. Uh, Reactor claim. We are going to mass up an army of warthogs here. This probably won't end well at all. And we will attack. And we will call it. All units. Oh, look at that fleet of banshees. See what I mean? The AI said they weren't building any units. And then they come at least six banshees. Which is Warthog not good. All units. Engineer. They're pretty harmless. Base under attack. All right. Uh oh. Standing by. All units. On the target. Spinning up. Mac blast. Mac firing. All units. Moving out. All units. <laughs> and there they stand. Um, yeah, I'll just do Warhog. We'll go to their base. Just take a look Grenadier at it. Researched. Yes, sir. Standing by. Standing by. I'm going to come in a base. Get the shielding on it. That's awesome. And, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I just get lost in this game every time I play it. Oh, there goes the Arbiter. Yeah, the Covenant have actual hero units that they can play as. Which is uh, pretty All awesome. Units. Moving out, rolling out. We're on it. All Arbiter is OP. Look how fast he is. And uh, I don't know, this reason and for all that and more. Um why I love it so this is a uh, yeah another episode and I uh, hope you guys enjoy I definitely look it up try it out and um, yeah, look at that carnage carnage the map you can see the whole map and I'll see you guys next time uh, later